Okay, today we have a picture of a uh, <coughs> a ba bale of hay <coughs> in a hay field in the early morning sunrise with the fog uh, in the background. But uh, guess what? Um, when I took this picture, there was no fog. I put that uh, fog in the picture using Photoshop. And uh, today we're going to learn how to become a little more creative uh, and a little bit m uh, m more manipulative with our images. Here are the two layers uh, that I used. And I'm going to delete those so that I can, um, I can show you how I accomplished this. Um, the first thing I needed to do was select my lasso tool. And using the lasso tool, I made some, well, what I, I want to call some puffy little cloudy looking areas of fog. Um, holding down my shift key, I can move on and make another selection. And stay away from the edge. Because if you go over the edge of your image, it's going to create a straight line on the fog that we eventually want, uh, will be creating. So now we've got what we want a fog to look like, basically. Next thing you need to do is go into Select, uh, Modify, and Feather. We need to heavily f uh, feather this, uh, these foggy areas. And I selected uh, for this particular image, which is about 800 pixels wide, about 23 pixels worth of uh, feathering. I've already determined that. And so there's our selection. Now I need to create a new layer, and I've done so. Now, with my default color set to black as the foreground and white as the background, I'm going to go up to Filter, uh, Render, and Clouds. And I'll deselect by holding down Control D, and that'll deselect it. Now I've got my fog. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want, I want to be able to manipulate this fog. So uh, I'm going to create a new uh, uh, a new layer, an additional fog layer. So I'm just going to copy the layer one and make another layer two. Holding down the control key, pressing the letter J, that gives me another fog uh, layer. Now with this fog layer, I want to change. I want to. I wanted it a little bit more subdued. So I'm going to change this to soft light, and that gives me a little bit more of a subdued. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go up to my move tool, and I'm going to move this fog around. And on the bottom layer, I can also move that fog around. Also, I can also, if I think it's uh, a little too pronounced, I can reduce the opacity uh, just a little. And go going back up to the first layer, and I can move this basically anywhere I want to, and that looks good right about there. So how's it look? Let's see. This was uh, before we added the fog, and that was after we added the fog. Not too bad.